How is it going guys? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeterra video and in honor of Off Meta Sunday, I'm going to share with you guys Elusive Teemo Burn, which I thought was going to be a bit of a meme, but it turns out it did it did just okay for my day uh, having a few games with it. I was quite shocked. Uh, some of the games are a complete high roll, let me tell you that for sure. And we're talking three triple get excited in the in the one hand. That's, that's going to be a bit of a tilter. But without a doubt, this is essentially King Cow Elusives, but instead of Free Ord with Omen Hawk and etc. Elixir of Iron, I think is the other common card. We just switch that out for a Get Excited. We switch it out for a Teemo, which is your one drop from uh, King Cow and a Mystic Shock, because Mystic Shock's really powerful. So we have some pretty high uh, Piltover odds here in terms of like the Wayfinder value. By the way, Wayfinder here, Allegiance summon two one cost allies from your deck. By the way, Allegiance being, if top, like when you play it, if top card of your deck is a of the same Allegiance, you'll get that uh, effect. Because the odds are that kind of low or high or however you want to look at it, you'd probably want to consider keeping cards like Mystic Shot, maybe get excited in your opening hand, and even Teemo as well, just to make sure you improve those odds of the Wayfinder. Another card that's low-key been finding a lot of value is Retreat. The card's pretty fun to use and can be really flexible. I like Retreat. It's a really cool card. You can do some naughty things with it. But um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You just kind of do your ignore my opponent's strategy and kill them, which is quite often effective. Unless we're versing other aggro decks and we kind of want to try and race them and take little value trades when we can. But like, uh, what is there to really talk about guys? This is King Cow Wayfinder. This is King Cow Elusive. This is Timo Elusive Burn. Let's go play some games and enjoy Off Meta Sunday. As always, just want to say a special thank you to all you guys who have been supporting the channel, showing your love, dropping comments, dropping likes. You guys have been amazing. I will also like to add, we are doing a 12 hour stream tomorrow. I highly recommend you come pop in and say hi. Once again, have a great day. It's Fake Hero tuning out. So with this list in particular, I think keeping some Piltover cards in the opening hand is going to increase your Wayfinder odds, because we do run 8. We'll take the open attack here, I'm pretty sure. Actually... We'll get punished too much by Maker Rain if we develop into this board. We should end the round here. Weird. Okay, I'm going to play Solitary Monk. And we're not going to... We're going to open attack next turn. Because no he's most likely sitting on a twist of fate. If he's missed this many early game cards, I wouldn't be surprised to see him sitting on a twist of fate. So this damage is pretty relevant. Do our best to play around. I mean, to a Sejuani turn. I think Wayfinder still is strictly a little bit better. <laughs> uh, feels sad, man. So that's a Teemo on the top. We've got plenty of burn from the hand. If he oversteps a turn, we can maybe punish him. But it's most likely going to be a Sejuani this turn. So I, go, I should go to town on elusives and just kind of try and stick it in him. Bow to no one. The order rewards its faithful. We can block the 4-3 here. Actually, no. I don't think I will. I'll increase my odds to play around... Um. Hmm. 
make it rain. I pretty much have to open attack next turn. Think. I think I do. That was a mistake playing Teemo. Should play Green Glade. I'll float the mana. Okay, if I slow play and he plays Twist of Fate, it feels really bad. Got tons of damage from hand. This is like essentially 9, 11. I just gotta stick him a little bit of damage. Okay. It might have low odds of hitting the Teemo. I think that worked out pretty well for us. Except if he has Citrus Courier. I just stick it in him. I'm gonna stick it in him. We are elusive burn. I'm not gonna survive next turn, so we're gonna stick it in now. <laughs> we're gonna kill him from some crazy ranges here. Would he not have played Citrus Curry there if he had it? <laughs> Do I not just play for this crazy hand I have? Oh boy, he'd want to have Citrus Curry here. Oh dude, how would you feel dying from that range? <laughs> Uh, in honor of Off Meta Sunday. <laughs> Elusive team event. Incredible mechanics. All it took for him was to land that one make it rain and we're suddenly sad. So that turn where I chose not to block, block with the um, King Kao Wayfinder was extremely relevant in increasing our odds for that turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Everything just went right for us then, didn't it? What is Sejuani, um... What is Sejuani Ezreal? Okay. Everyone's vibing the off-minute Sunday. Treat. Wonder if I should have kept the, um... Wind Disciplines, maybe. I just play Teemo. Nothing else would make any more sense. And then... Develop this turn. Wow, this is tough. I mean, he would have Thermo beam the Teemo if he had it. So at best, he has Mystic Shot or get excited. I think I, I increased my damage the same. Whether I develop or not. Never see me not and ready. Yeah, we still end up pushing like the same damage essentially, right? So never know what hit I guess it's kind of okay. In the end, we developed and spent our mana. And he had an answer to the two damage we dealt, could have dealt extra. Any difference is we don't have saved our mana, but I think that's okay. I retreat you? Yeah, we 100% retreat here. We can uh, recall the Shadow Assassin. Make sure to play this team on the right. Demo Beam. Fair enough. We 
We're going to take one of these blocks. Maybe. Because we have another team on hand, I'm leaning towards developing. Leaning towards it. Get excited. Yeah, sure. He's, he's not an iron, yeah, he's not really running elusive units, so I play like this. It kind of makes sense. In the end, we could have achieved maybe two damage with an answer most likely from my opponent. He could obviously have Ice Veil Archer as well. This is cool though, Ezreal and Sejuani. Is he, am I supposed to develop here since he made no play then? Surely we play Teemo. Surely we play Teemo. Mystic shot. I'll pass here. So we just got a Sejuani about to come down. A play like Zed kind of makes a bit of sense here. Well, you'd, he wouldn't develop Sejuani here if he had to have nine mana, by the way. I like Zed here. So then we just go shore. I ever play another one. That was off the top, wasn't it? I think we just swing. I got Mystic Shot. Do I save here? Zed? Do I just try and get it get it into his face? This is strange. This is an important turn though. So let's assume that you would want to play Sejuani next turn. We're gonna make the choice here. Do I clear the Ezreal? This is so hard. This is gonna make or break the game for me. I've got burn in the deck. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna send the face and we're gonna find that burn that we need. We've got Shadow Assassin for a little bit of cycle. We can burn him down. We are elusive burn. So Sejuani comes down. Brilliant. There's Shadow Assassin. There's the burn. This needs to stick in a little bit more burn. Just need a target. This needs to stick in a little bit more burn. So we'll keep drawing for it. Okay. <sighs> Develop a silent shadow seer. Try and get around him. What could he play? He could play some. He could play like Ice Veil Archer, Avarosian Marksman, which he probably runs multiple copies of. I think we just try and stick it in him. I should let this go through. I should not make any other action here. Shadow. 
Is everyone healing? Question mark? I mean, what could you possibly have? Incredible stuff. Teemo elusive burn. Not doing too bad. Interesting. If it was diamond one, as I say, I might throw, but diamond two, not today, buddy. You'll earn your spot. I'll keep the mystic shot actually and increase my wayfinder value. Precious pets, his best turn one play. I can counter the Teemo with this scout. We can take this block. Our turn two is looking pretty average though. Do I take this block? Interesting. He really wants to secure this saboteur down. So I'm just going to open attack here, flexing my mystic shot if needed. This is a very awkward turn two play silence I see, but it, it works, man. It goes like with the burn and stuff, so I guess it's kind of cool. I guess I'll just be passing for now. In position. Boom. This wow, intense turn. I think I should accept this and develop said. If he plays like transfusion, give mystic shot. Mystic shot feels correct here. Yeah. I thought about blocking the twin uh, crimson disciple, but I ultimately decided I want to develop Zed this turn, so I'll proceed with that game plan. And I'll be doing an open attack. They follow the wrong master. I, if I develop like Wayfinder, it would be good, but I'll do it towards the end of the turn. This will allow me to push almost the same damage. Maybe arguably I could develop. <laughs> arguably. Do I protect the Z? At this point, he's put a, he's committed a Mystic Shot into it. And this can allow me to push six damage. So perhaps I will allow him to consider using Get Excited on my Z. But I think this feels kind of worth. I think this is worth. I think that's worth. I think that's hella worth. That's a lot of burn. We can go wide here. As long as we hit our wayfinder, we should be good. Yeah, that's unfortunately a lot of damage. It's four. We hit our buff. Rookie. So no more transfusion plays here. I doubt he wants to swing his ass here, but if he does, we should take some trades. I believe we trade. We actually are probably going to connect damage with the blade scout, so I'm going to block like this. Might look strange losing the blade scout, but because it's losing, it's losing elusive next round. I don't know how much that really helps us. How much money do we have? Six. Uh, I guess we go all in here. 
We found a Green Glade duo. Makes me want to go all in. That's my resting face. Go under him. We saw him use his burn cards before. Static shock would be really intense for him. Double decimate would work too. So unless I'm killing him this turn, we're not achieving much. Mystic Shot. There's a lot of answers for him now. I think there's not going to be much I can do at this point. What is this? 10? 13? You could, always, you could always draw like a ton of mushrooms. Almost. He almost got there. He might draw four mushrooms. He may draw four mushrooms. He might also just have Mystic Shot and play it now. But I think we played pretty okay. I don't think I would have done anything differently. So I'm not too disappointed about the players here. GG, buddy. I mean, yeah, we're playing Fizz Elusives. We versus a burn deck, it's gonna be a bit tough. Maybe the, um, the mulligan could have been a little bit different. I'm doing a Lux. <laughs> off Meta Sunday is popping off today. I'll go for a bit more of a slow plan here. Mm, kicking, kicking the Disciple though. Twin Discipline, sorry. Don't know how I feel about that maybe. With a slow strategy, it could have been a decent card. I guess we just play Teemo. Yep. They're always going to have cards to remove our cards, so... The best we can do is like kind of track what removal they're using. So like a, using a Mystic Shot there is the ideal play. So I can't get a tremendous amount of card read from him. I'm going to stick to this slower strategy and I'm going to play Shadow Assassin. This should pull two one drops. We have a mystic shot. We have the get excited in hand. Thermo beam. In that position, using a thermo beam over a mystic shot could be could mean that he has no mystic shot in hand. I'd really want to hit this. If I lose, if I miss this buff, I think the game's over. So I'll take my chances. Because then he has like static shock as one of his optimal plays here. I'm not sure if they're actually running that. Pretty sturdy board. So probably no mystic shot. Are we saving up for a big high mid in a swing? So we can always chill. This turns Zed. This turns Zed, I think. We got seven mana. Without a sound. Do you have the flash of brilliance? I think if you're floating mana on purpose like that, you must have a flash in hand. Get excited. I can now match that. Silent Shadows here is gonna go. I'm gonna kill the Heimerdinger. Uh, does that mean he doesn't get the uh he does not get the um unit I can develop here? And uh okay. There's a there's an angle now where I can slow play. The punishments aren't incredible. The upside's pretty good. 
I guess the real question is, is it a double shadow assassin or, you know, like this X amount of cards that don't make too much of a difference here. I think the shadow assassins are the way to go though. Just because they have a 2 HP, which is kind of a lot more relevant against his non mystic shot possible hand. Yeah, like he plays something like Lux, this is a lot of damage. I think we swing with everything, if I'm not mistaken. So Green Glade would have been 5 damage, we pushed 4 but drew some cards. Now we can have a pretty intense turn. We could always find some burn. If you like... We'll do, we'll do the buff here. Try and beat Will of Only the best we can. And I'll figure out whether or not I want to slow play next turn. A beacon through the dark. <sighs> Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. GG. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess that was kind of like a really strong position. This deck popping off, dude. Unbelievable. I'm through the Master's Gutter. That's actually not a bad deck, if I'm being honest.